Hello again and welcome to the 140k Imperial Guard Tactics video. Now before we get into today's video, I would like to say a massive thank you to Gunnar Sorem for sending in some awesome pictures of one of my favourite models in the entire Imperial Guard range. This classic metal Cadian flag bearer. I absolutely love this model. I honestly just think the old Command Squad models are just amazing. Uh, if there's one thing that Games Workshop could do is bring back, just don't even make it make to order, just bring back on a permanent basis the old Metal Command Squad. That, the old Commander, the Voxcast, the Melter Gun, the Flag Guy, they're all absolutely amazing. And I have to say, this is just one of my favourite models of all time. I, I must own two, maybe three of them. I just absolutely love them. So thank you for sending this picture in, Gunner. They absolutely look uh, amazing. Um, if anyone else has got any cool pictures that they want me to use on my videos, please post them on my Facebook page. There will be a link down in the description below. Now today guys, I'm going to be continuing my agenda to make everyone realise that conscripts are really, really good. And I know some of you are saying, bloody hell, Maldian Glory, another conscript video. I mean, I, I just, I'll take them just to shut you up is what some of you will be saying right now. But, but hear me out guys, this is probably going to be one of the last ones. Conscript Fest, Conscript Mania 2020 uh, is going to be, this is probably going to be the the peak video for Conscript Mania 2020. Alright, I hope you're ready. Hope you're sitting down, because I'm about to hit you with some knowledge. Right, first things first. Conscripts on paper are rubbish, right? We all know this. But what if they weren't? What if you could take conscripts that could shoot like Imperial Guardsmen? and obey orders like Imperial Guardsmen. That would be pretty cool, wouldn't it? That would like, that would solve all the problems. That, that would be it, that would be all the problems solved, right? Well, in today's quick tip tactic video, I'm gonna be running you through exactly how you can get conscripts to automatically accept an order every single time and to shoot properly every single time. How you do it, guys, is you take advantage of a key, I would say, I, I'm going to say it, I think it's a loophole, or in the Imperial Guard Codex. So what you do is you take a, a blob of 30 conscripts. You're going to want 30 because you're going to want to maximise the efficiency. And you're going to then want to take a Lord Commissar. Okay? Or a regular Commissar, if you want to save points. But Lord Commissar is just generally is better overall. So take a Lord Commissar. You're going to make that Lord Commissar your Warlord. You're going to make give that Lord Commissar the Warlord trait Master of Command. To be, to be honest, this is my favourite one anyway. Because you can never have enough orders in an Imperial Guard army. Uh, now the Master of Command trait says if this model has the Voice of Command uh, ability, he can do one additional order. If he doesn't have the Voice of Command ability, he can issue one order. And in the FAQ... Uh, if you take the, the Master of Command Warlord trait on a Lord Commissar, he can order any regiment unit. So you can't order Ogrins or anything around, but you can order Conscripts, because Conscripts have the regiment keyword. Cool. Now, what's interesting is, if you look at the Conscripts uh, Raw Recruits rule, which was added in to make them not very good, it says, any time that this unit receives an order from an officer... They must take raw dice on a 4 plus, they obey the order. However, the Lord Commissar does not have the officer keyword. Doesn't have it. He can issue an order to any regiment unit, but he is not an officer. Which means he can order conscripts, and because the order is not coming from an officer keyword unit, the raw recruits rule doesn't kick in. They're receiving an order, but not from an officer. Therefore, they always pass that order test. So that means, guys, you have conscripts which you got a 30 man blob of them. You can move, move, move them. No order test required. Uh, even better, though, you have a unit of 30 conscripts which you get into rapid fire range, shall we say, and you put first rank fire, second rank fire on them, and that's 120 shots. That's pretty good. Now, some of you will be saying, yes, but they only hit on fives. 
So that's not really very good, is it? It's like, well, what if you took him as Vestroyan? What if you took him as Vestroyan and that means that A, your rapid fire range is 15 inches because you get an extra 6 inch range in your last guns, which is pretty good. Uh, which is important to get, you know, a big 30 man blob all in rapid fire range easier. Uh, and then you took a look at the Vestroyan strategy on Firstborn Pride, which lets you give plus one to hit to one of your units. So you've got a unit of conscripts with a 15 inch rapid fire range firing 120 shots, hitting on fours. You just basically got access to a 30 man guardsman squad. That is really good. Really, really good. And you could take it to the next level. Now that, you know, you don't have to take them as Vestroyan. You could just take, you could take them Steel Legion, have an 18 inch rapid fire range. This is, the good thing about it is it's not even really regiment specific, the Commissar trick. Lord Commissars, you can take them in any regiment. If you want to hit good, you take them as Vestroyan. You want to have maximum rapid fire range, you take them as Steel Legion. Or go Custom Trait and go Wilderness Survivors and Discipline Shooters and have an 18 inch range 4 plus just to hit unit. You could then go down the Forge World route and go, you know what, I'll take a searchlight. Forge World searchlight, 20 points. Pick an enemy unit, give an infantry squad plus one to hit against it. Oh look, now I've got conscripts with an 18 inch rapid fire range firing 120 shots with plus one to hit. There's no point in going destroyed and searchlight by the way, because obviously the modifiers cap at plus one now in that edition. But then you've got a unit of hyper durable conscripts with a good rapid fire range, hitting on the right amount with 120 shots. That's really, really nice. I mean, it, it's really powerful. And you can, again, you can just take it to the next level. If you want to go, you know how we often talk about uh, this like sort of bronze, silver, and gold levels of sort of investment when you come in with one of these combos. So, you know, we looked at the plasma bomb, you could do it on the cheap, but it would have less damage output, or you could do it expensively and have more damage output, but it's costing you more points. Same thing with this. The amount of CP and points that you want to put into it is entirely up to you. You want to do this with just a basic commissar and 30 conscripts, don't worry about being destroying. That's the cheapest way you can do it. You want to go Lord Commissar and go destroying. That's a few more points, a bit more CP investment. You go Searchlight, you know, blah, blah. There's ways of doing it. If you want to go the gold standard of doing this combo, how I would recommend you do it is you take Commissar Yarrick because he's he has the Warlord trait inbuilt Master of Command. And he would give those conscripts real ones to hit and then you've got 30 guys with 120 shots hitting on fours re-rolling ones really nice really really nice you then you know it, it's just really powerful or you could just take like a regular commander regular Lord commissar give him massive command and laurels of command and you could have you could have those 30 conscripts hitting on fours, re-rolling ones, re-rolling ones to wound as well. So it's really powerful. I mean, at that point, you're looking at 120 shots, because four shots per guy. Can you imagine if they hadn't capped conscripts at, at 30? Imagine if it was back in the day when you'd take them in 50. You'd have 200 shots. Oh, amazing, but we've only got 120 shots. You're going to hit on sixes. You're going to re-roll ones. So you should hit with maybe 70 overall. Uh, and then you'll have uh, to wound, you'll put like 20 wounds on a Primaris unit. If you've got an Astropath nearby, so you're ignoring cover on them, you know, they just want to 3-up save. You know, you're going to, you're going to, that, that'll, you know, it, that'll, that'll kill like 2 or 3 Primaris. If you didn't have, and you might be like, oh, that's not really worth it. You might be like, ooh, suddenly I don't like it. Well, considering Primaris Marines are 20 points each, you only have to kill you don't have to kill a a full. You don't have to kill like a full primary squad with this, and you've got most of your points back. Think of it that way. You know, just think about. It's just it's a lot of wounds for them to have to deal with. To be fair, and if you're doing it every turn, and if you've got more than one conscript blob, so even if they kill one blob, you're doing it with another blob. It's it is good, and it's cheap. The thing is, 
it's the thing with this combo, you might be like, oh, it's only going to kill, like, you know, over the course of the game, it might only kill, like, a primary squad or two. Well, it's like, well, one, that's all your points back. But two, the thing with this combo is it's not regiment specific, and it's kind of works with the, uh, what we've been talking about, the meta anyway, of taking concepts, sitting on objectives primary. Don't forget, you could take this, and you could give them a volley, you could have a priest nearby, you could get them into combat. Guess what? In combat, with your priest, you'll have 60 more attacks. Okay? And then you can play Firstborn Pride again for another plus one to hit. Okay, because I believe it works in any phase. Correct me if I'm wrong. But I believe it works in any phase. You see? So, in one turn, and if you've got Yagnet by, they're still re-rolling once to hit. So, in one turn, you'll get 180 attacks from these conscripts. Okay? They're hitting on fours, they're re-rolling re re ones all the time. That's actually really good. That's going to be 180 attacks, that's 90 hits. Okay? And then you get to roll your re-rolls on that as well. So that's a lot of, so that's like 15 sixes, I believe. 10, 15 sixes, so uh, 15 opportunities roughly to re-roll. So you should get, you know, maybe about 100 hits. You get a wound with a third of those. So, so you get a wound with about 33. Then the Marines will fail. Hang on, if, then the Marines will fail uh, a third of those wounds. And you've got it, you've wiped out a unit of five primaries in one go with conscripts. That's actually really powerful, guys. That's actually really, really good. Um, it's not that, it's nothing, you know, you're going to be taking a Lord Commissar anyway. You're going to be taking an Astropath anyway. You're going to be taking some conscripts anyway. This is a combo that just, you just slot in and it just does its job. And if you're looking at it from a combat perspective, you could go Catacham with these guys. So you're getting all the you're getting all the shots, and then you're getting yeah, they're only really hitting on fives, and when you go into combat, you've got three attacks per guy. So suddenly that jumps up to 210 attacks. Yeah, they're only really hitting on fives, but you're rerolling one, so it's kind of like hitting on fours anyway. That's pretty good. And then or you go Law's Approval and um slum fighters so yeah you're not doing as well on the shooting you just do you're doing okay on the shooting side of things then you get into combat every six that you get is an additional hit all your attacks are ap minus one and what you have what you can see guys is you, is that these conscripts with a few buffs are really really powerful and then guess what if your opponent decides to stick in combat you've got that lord commissar nearby he could order them to fix bayonets and you go again the key to this whole combo is having that Lord Commissar who can issue that order, no problem. Now, if you're against Lord Commissar for some reason, you can still do this. Because you go Cadian, and you take the Cadian Warlord trait, Superior Tactical Training. Which means every time you issue an order to one unit, you can attempt to issue another or the same order to another unit for free. But the way Superior Tactical Training works is that that other unit just gets it. So if you order a unit of Guardsmen, and they get the first one, five, second one, fire. Then you roll, then you then you order unit of conscripts. You roll dice on a four plus. They get that same order. And if you fail, you can still attempt to uh, issue that second order to them anyway, just normally. So you get two chances to do it. So the point is, guys, that giving conscript orders isn't that hard. You just have to think about it. Easiest way is this Lord Commissar combo. That's totally groundbreaking, and I love it. And fluff wise, it makes sense because the conscripts are going to do as the Lord Commissar says. Okay, and this combo, it's been around since the Guard Codex dropped. So, you know, we're going to have it for a little bit longer, hopefully. Anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. And of course, I'll see you guys next time.